Hi, my name is Richard Lyle, and you are watching Atmosphere Perspective. I've chosen six of my paintings to talk about, and I'll tell you how I use the atmosphere conditions to give the painting depth and feeling. I'm a plain air artist, and I paint outside. Here's my first painting from Monhegan. I have two X's here. The X on the top is the closest cloud. The X in the, on the left is the furthest cloud. Notice that the cloud that's closest is whiter and the cloud in the distance is pinker. White gets warmer in the distance. Now I have the trees in the distance, the upright trees, marked. You can see that even that little bit of distance that the trees in the front, the X on the right, are warmer than the trees in the middle, which are further away. Here I have the grass marked with two X's. The same thing, the X in the, on the right in the front is closer than the X in the middle. And the X in the middle, you can see that the green is cooler and lighter. So the simple rule is for colors, all colors get cooler in the distance except white gets warmer. In this painting, of Acadia's mud flats. I, the first scene is marked with two X's for the clouds. The fog cloud, the little X on the bottom, is closer than the other one and therefore cooler. The uprights, you can see that they also get cooler as they go back from right to left. You also have the grass which also gets cooler as it moves back. The grass, the X on the right in the front is definitely warming the X in the back. Then you have the mud flat itself. And you can see the mud in the front is definitely more orange and warmer than the X in the background. Now I'll give you the simple rule of how to make colors cooler or warmer. The easiest thing is all your colors that get cooler in the distance, just simply add blue, cobalt blue, and a little white to it as it moves back. That will move it back because blue is a very cool color. Now white on the other hand, as it moves back, you want to warm it up. So you start with maybe just a little yellow in the white, and then you start to add a rose matter or red to warm it up as it goes back. In this painting off the coast of Monhegan, I'll first talk about the perspective of water. Yes, water. As you can see, there's three X's here. The one in the distance, the big X in the top, is in the distance and is cooler. The one in the middle has a little bit more of a rosy color to it, and as it gets close to land, it has a green color. Then you have the trees, which I have marked with two X's. The trees that are on the left are closer than the trees in the right, and therefore warmer. And then you have the rocks, the cliffs themselves. The rocks up close are definitely warmer than the rocks in the distance. This painting of a farm, I'm gonna talk about all the greens. One, that's the green that's really up close. You can see what well, warm green, a lot of red in that. Two, now this green is not the same as any of the other greens on the canvas. This was, I think, cabbage or something, and they have their own color. The X up on the right is basically the same as this one, except further away, so it's much cooler. Then you have the trees here. Three, four, and five. All those trees are in a row, and you can see that three is warmer than four, four is warmer than five, and five is the coolest out of the three. And six is the trees in the far distance, and you can definitely see that they're cooler and lighter. So I added a lot of cobalt blue and a lot of white. In this painting, in Acadia, the tide pools, I'm gonna talk about the water first with the three X's. The one on the top you can see is very blue and the ocean is very blue in the back. 
In the middle, it starts to get warmer and it starts to get some green in it as it gets close to the land. And the X on the bottom in the pools itself is very warm with a lot of yellow ochre and greens in it. Here, with the rocks, you can see that there's basically three layers of rocks. The one up close, the X on the right, is definitely warmer and darker than the middle one. And then the one that's very far in the distance, the small one, is much lighter and cooler. In this painting, a tree in Yosemite Meadow, I'm going to talk first about the tree in the middle of the main subject. That's a hardwood. If you look at that, it's a very warm green. It's in the close to middle range. The X up in the less distant, in the top left hand corner is also a hardwood and it's much lighter and cooler. Two of the upright spruce, they're bluer. And three and four are the grasses and they're more of a yellow than green, but it's still warmer up close and cooler in the background. Then we have the mountains. As you can see, the mountains up close are one and and they're not so much cooler as they go back there just because of the nature of Yosemite but they get do get lighter one two and three all three of them get lighter well that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a lot about the aerial perspective and I hope it helps you in the future painting if you like this video, don't be afraid to share with others. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day and have a great time painting.